Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video, um, we're going to talk about Doctor Who. I know we don't really talk, or well, we have talked about Doctor Who before, but I know we don't talk about Doctor Who here as much as I do talk about, like, Star Wars or the Ninja Turtles, but I figured I will, I will talk about Doctor Who. And this article, who, by the time I am recording this was published 48 minutes ago. Again, by the time I'm recording this. And it's Doctor Who Russell T. Davis uh, response to fans' concern. So let's give this a read, shall we? Doctor Who's return showrunner Russell T. Davis Davies, or Davis How do you pronounce his last name? I'm trying to get his last name right. Has reassured fans about Disney Plus involvement on the show. Last year it was announced that Disney Plus acquired the distribution rights for Doctor Who in territories outside of the UK. It will remain exclusive to BBC One and iPlayer on the side of the pond. <coughs> Quote unquote, and this is uh, Davies saying this. I know people are naturally worried about American producers having notes on things. Well, don't be. They're giving excellent notes. And I am here to tell you, you haven't watched a drama on British television in 20 years that hasn't had American notes on it. Everything is co-production. It really completely, no it's really completely normal. The showrunner who will be helming the sci-fi so, so again, starting with the upcoming 60th anniversary special, also hints a well-known felon returning. Quote unquote. And if you want to, if you want any more reassurance, let me know. Let, let me just tell you that we're about to transmit the words. Mavic Chen on television for the first time since 1966. It's the absolute, it is absolutely the same show. Um... Who the hell was Mavic Chen? Because I tried to watch Doctor Who when I was on that Kulu. But by the time um I got to the fourth Doctor, I was able, like, I watched, like, barely any episodes. And, um, like, of the fourth Doctor, and, um, before it got pulled off. Oh, that is who he is. Okay. Okay. I get you now. I get you now. Yeah, I get you now. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Davies' comment refers to a classic Doctor Who baddie who was... Oh, I could have continued and it would have told me. Okay. Davies' comment ref, ref, refers to a classic Doctor Who baddie who was president of the solar system in the future and forged a dangerous alliance with the Daleks. Premiering in November this year, the special... Episodes will be introduced of the 15th Doctor, played by sex ed uh, star Nukti Gatwa, who is taking on the role after a brief reprisal of David Tennant as 10th turned 14th. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed that David Tennant's return because I will, um, admittedly, I was pretty, um, Excited to uh, um, see David Tennant be the doctor again, admittedly. And I was looking forward to that, but um, I think I missed that episode. But um, I could probably like find like clips and image like clips of it on YouTube, so I probably. Can rewatch it. Plus, they had Donna, no Donna Noble again, which she is one of my favorite. Like, she is one of the best um, companions ever <laughs> in the David Tennant revival special. That makes sense. Anywho, I'm gonna shut up and continue. Doctor Who returns in 2023, so this year on BBC One in the UK and Disney Plus elsewhere. Meanwhile, in the US, the show airs on BBC America, 
uh, with series 1 through 12 available on HBO Max. Okay. Classic Doctor Who will stream on BritBox in the UK. So us Americans are uh, screwed over because we can't watch the Classic Doctor Who. God damn it. Okay. I, I, uh, it's on my bucket list to watch the cl- all the episodes of the Classic Doctor Who. Because, um, like I said, I made it to the first Doctor. I've seen some of the Tom Baker's Doctor. And then they pulled it off of, like, um, American streaming services. And I was like, <laughs> why? I was getting invested in this. The first Doctor was a grumpy old man at first. He grew on me towards the end. I enjoyed the second Doctor. The third Doctor was really cool. The third Doctor, like, a uh, his real-life son played Alfred on Gotham, so th- thought that was a pretty cool connection right there. Tom Baker, he is... I love his Doctors from what I've seen. And I'm mad I didn't get to see the rest of the, his run. I'm mad I didn't get to see the 5th, 6th, 7th, or 8th Doctor... And uh, <laughs> what are you doing to us? Anywho, this is not about that. Um, I don't really have most. Um, I don't really have a massive opinion when it comes to this article. Um, I hope they do justice to Doctor Who. Um, that's all I can say. So that I hope for the best. Um. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And I will talk to you fellow mentors later. Later, taters.